Hey everybody, this is my Calico 9mm. Mine has a 100 round drum, most have a 50, but this is what came with it when I bought it. Got a gun broker for 400 bucks. No, mine doesn't have this. It's still an M950 from what I understand. Uh, you gotta watch it with these 100 round drums or 50 round drums. The winder is very fragile. And I'm still waiting to buy another one because mine broke off. But it's not a very hard, or sorry, very easy part to find. It's just a little handle here snapped off. And to replace the whole drum, it's $130. And mine still works really well. In fact, at the one of the ranges I go to, it's you've got to shoot semi-auto and you cannot shoot rapid fire and what really makes it a pain is you know you loaded up a hundred rounds and you're shooting a hundred rounds it takes a little while to get them out of there you know one Winchester value pack feeds this thing for a couple minutes but if you're rapid firing you know, it's gone but overall it's a really neat pistol it's a design that never really took off and to be honest I don't know anybody else besides me that has one I mean, I've seen them on Gunbroker, I've seen people sell them, but I've not even seen many really on YouTube. It's just a really neat pistol. Um, you can see that's where the this little place that looks like it should house a magazine is actually where the empty casings come out of. And I'm sure you've maybe seen some of these kind of guns, like the 22 version in Spaceballs, and there was a pistol version similar to this in a movie called Stoned Cold that Brian Bosworth you know, a famous football player in the early 90's but overall if you see this in a movie it's usually a space gun really it just looks like a paintball gun from hell but you know it's part of my collection and can't really see parting with one like this they're, it's pretty neat. I mean, no, you pull it out, it's a good conversation piece. And nobody really knows what the hell it is. Unless you're like some kind of diehard gun freak like myself.